Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back if you are new here. Hello, my name is Carolyn and I'm so glad that you're here today. So today I am going to be doing a TBR video because on Saturday, I'm uploading this on Friday, so the next day on Saturday I am going to be doing a 24 hour readathon with my boyfriend. I know. <laughs> We are the perfect match. It was his idea. He's been wanting to do a 24-hour readathon with me. Absolutely. <laughs> so he has already picked out his TBR. Maybe I'll wait to show you that in the vlog because I'm thinking of vlogging the whole 24 hours of reading with him, but I wanted to film a little TBR video of me picking out what books I'm going to read because I really don't know. And I was looking at all of my shelves and I thought this might be fun to talk to you guys about because I'm going to be uploading this the day before the readathon. I might have you guys choose the books that I will be reading. So yes, let's pick out some books and hopefully you guys can help me figure out what I shall read. I think I, I do know one of the books that I want to read, which is right here. I mentioned this in my books that I want to read in 2024, and this is Galatea by Madeline Miller. Um, she is the author of The Song of Achilles, and this is a short story that she wrote about a sculptor. He sculpts this beautiful woman out of marble, and she comes to life, and it's about their relationship, and I think that that's really interesting, and I really want to read it in 2024, and it's super short. It's a short story, so I thought this would be perfect for the 24-hour readathon because I like reading short things because I'm a bit of a slow reader, so I'm thinking definitely this because I've been wanting to read it for a while, and this just sounds like I'm going to love it. So I think I'm definitely going to read Galatea. Something else that I wanted to mention is that I am currently listening to on audiobook, I am listening to The Winners by Frederick Bachman. So um, because for a 24-hour readathon, there's a lot of sitting, um, something that I like doing is picking an audiobook that I can listen to and go for a walk or cook dinner or eat dinner or do things like fold laundry, do things around the house so that I can walk around and still be reading for the 24 hours. I don't know how late we're going to stay up too because normally I, I try to stay up for a decent amount of time quite late into the night. We will figure that out on Saturday. <laughs> but yes, what other books could I read? Okay, so I think I've chosen another option. That is So Late in the Day by Claire Keegan. You guys know I have been loving her books. This is the only book that I have left of hers to read. I have read and loved small things like these, Foster and Antarctica. And this is her most recent... It says stories of men and women, so I thought it was short stories, but then someone commented on one of my videos saying it's just one story. Oh, okay, it looks like it's maybe three stories. It's because it's so late in the day from page 1 to 51. On 51, it's The Long and Painful Death from 51 to 87, and then Antarctica from, um, from page 87. So I think Antarctica is in here. Yes, yes, okay, that's interesting. All right, I didn't know that. So this is an option as well. Okay, so now we have a Greek retelling um, short story, and then we have some longer short stories from Claire Keegan, which are contemporary. So maybe a short classic and maybe a middle grade or a children's book because you guys know how much I love middle grade and children's literature. Um, what short classic can I read? Oh, I could read one of my little black classics. That would be very doable. And I haven't read one in a while, so I feel like that might be fun. Oh, something that I really want to read probably not for a 24-hour readathon, is Sense and Sensibility by Jane Austen because I recently watched the movie adaptation from 1995, I think, with my boyfriend because he watched it without me, loved it, and he's like, we have to watch it together. And then we watched it recently, and I loved it. Oh my gosh, that cast is incredible. It's Kate Winslet, Emma Thompson, Hugh Grant, and Alan Rickman, and I just loved this story so much. It's like, Honestly, like, top tier with Pride and Prejudice 2005. I loved the movie so much, and usually I like watching Jane Austen and then reading the books, which is perfect, and it really made me want to read Sense and Sensibility, so now I really want to read Sense and Sensibility, but maybe not for a 24-hour readathon. That, I was just reminded because I saw Jane Austen here, because she has a short story collection 
where is it? Here it is. I've already read it, but it is The Beautiful Cassandra. It is number 33. Um, but let's see, what else have I not read? Okay, so here we have Dante's Circles of Hell. This is number 25. I have been learning Italian, which is so exciting because I am Italian. Um, my grandparents on both sides were born in Italy and then they came over to America. So my parents are first generation American. I am second generation and I... I know some Italian phrases, but I am learning Italian now, and I'm so excited, and I'm making pretty good progress. I'm quite proud of myself, um, and I want to read more Italian literature. I have said this so much, and I really want to read Dante's Inferno, so maybe this could be a good introduction and a push for me to read it. So this is Circles of Hell. I believe this is, yeah, okay, a terrifying depiction of sin and eternal damnation from Dante's Inferno the medieval epic that revolutionized the Italian language. Okay, I think this would be awesome. I've been meaning to read it, especially since Hosier came out with his new album, Unreal Unearth, and a lot of, there were a lot of references to Dante's Inferno in the album and in the songs, so yes. Okay, I think I'm really excited about this one, so I think this one's gonna, gonna happen. Okay, I think there is another potential option this is one that I got recently from a subscriber, and this is Old Yeller by Fred Gibson. Um, I read Flush by Virginia Woolf in one of my past 24-hour readathons, which is a book about a dog. And this is another book about a dog, and it's quite short. It's about 100 pages. The font is quite quite small though. Um, so this is an option as well. I was also thinking another book that's about 100-ish pages. This one's, oh no, this one's about 200 pages, is If Beale Street Could Talk by James Baldwin. I do have this book as well, which I have kind of, I mean, I have been meaning to read. Um, it's about, oh, okay, this could be a good option. It's about 125 pages. It's called Ghost Ways, Two Journeys in Unquiet Places. It is by Robin McFarlane, Stanley Donwood, and Dan Richards. And I have this in my nature section, my like nature and nonfiction section. Um, this, this says a hauntingly beautiful diptych of works inspired by Robert McFarlane's travels with celebrated collaborators to two eerie corners of England. I've been meaning to read this forever. I love Robert McFarlane's writing. I have a few of his other books as well. Um, and yes, this could be another potential option, which is also different. Like it's a, it's a nonfiction set around nature and journeys in England, like natural journeys in England. So these could also be three more options, um, that are all quite a bit different. So yes, we'll keep looking and see what else I find. I was just looking at my Italian literature section, which is quite small and it needs to get a bit bigger because I want to read more Italian literature. Um, I could also read Italo Calvino's Into the War. This is a historical fiction set in Italy in the summer of 1940. This one is only, I think about 80, oh no, 90 pages. So this could be doable as well. I could read two Italian classics. Um, this is a bit more of a modern, modern classic. Um, well, yes, it is in the Penguin Modern Classics edition, so this could be an option as well. Maybe I could either pick, like, Dante's Inferno or this one, or both. Um, I'm not sure. This is where I'm gonna need. I'm gonna need your help. Yeah, see, I have Dante's Inferno. This one is really cool. It's a bilingual edition, so when I am more versed in Italian, then this will be very, very useful and very fun to read through. Okay, I'm thinking of adding this one to the list, and then keep keep looking okay I feel like I have a very good selection here I might just go into my bedroom look at my books that are in there and then see if there's anything in there that piques my interest that I might want to add on and then you guys can comment down below which ones you think I should definitely definitely read um, and I will go from your advice because I need some help. So here we have my Penguin English Library books and then my Pan Macmillans which I just love so much. They're so beautiful. They're these ones. Here we have my Cloth Bound of Sense and Sensibility. I want to read this so badly but it will have to wait. It will have to wait. Oh, I'm so excited. I honestly think that might be it. I think I might just be adding 
um, Kazoo She Grows Come Rain or Come Shine to my list. And then that might be it. I also don't want to know what this one is about just because it is a very short, short story. So let me get all of my books and we can go through them and then you guys can vote your maybe you can rank them as to like which one you'd like to hear me talk about the most and then the least. The first book I picked out was Galatea by Madeline Miller. This is a Greek retelling like I said about a sculpture coming to life so and that's a short story. I'm really excited about that one. Then we have Claire Keegan's So Late in the Day. This is a longer short story and I've been loving Claire Keegan. I am really excited about this one so Yes, very excited to read that one, potentially. And then we have Dante's Circles of Hell. This is a short excerpt from the longer um, Dante's Inferno. And this is the Little Black Classic in number 25. Also very excited about that one, especially since I want to read more Italian literature. And then we have If Beale Street Could Talk by James Baldwin. It says, in this honest and stunning novel, James Baldwin has given America a moving story of love in the face of injustice. So through the eyes of Tish, a 19-year-old girl in love with Fanny, a young sculptor, oh, another sculptor, <laughs> um, who is the father of her child, Baldwin's story mixes the sweet and the sad. Tish and Fanny have pledged to get married, but Fanny is falsely accused of a terrible crime and imprisoned. Their families set out to clear his name, and as they face an uncertain future, the young lovers experience a kaleidoscope of emotions, affection, despair, and hope and a love story that evokes the blues, where passion and sadness are inevitably intertwined, Baldwin has created two characters so alive and profoundly realized that they are unforgettably ingrained in the American psyche. Wow, that is, that is quite a synopsis. So very excited about this one. Um, and then we have Old Yeller, which I don't wanna to know too much about because it is short and it's about a dog. I'm assuming Old Yeller, who is the dog, will most likely die by the end, which is always what happens with dog books, um, which is just so sad. And then the next one is Ghost Ways, Two Journeys in Unquiet Places, which again, sounds really interesting. And it's a bit more like short nature writing, nonfiction. Um, and then we have another Italian classic or modern classic. This is Italo Calvino's um, into the War, which also sounds really interesting, set in Italy in the summer of 1940. This trio of stories, okay, it's a trio of stories, explores the relationships between the different generations caught up in the war, as well as Calvino's own experiences as a teenager. That sounds really, really interesting. And I've been meaning to read Italo Calvino for years now. I also really want to read If on a Winter's Night a Traveler, but that one's a bit longer, and I don't want to rush through it during the 24 hours. And then the last one we have is Kazuo Ishiguro's Come Rain or Come, Sh Come Shine. Um, I also don't want to know what this one is about because it is a short, short story. So those are the books that I'm working with. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I would love it if you could rank them down below which ones you think I should read the most um, and which ones you think I can maybe, if I don't get to them, it's okay. I will hopefully try to read as many of these as possible. I don't know how many of them I'll be able to get through. So we shall see. I think it'll be really, really fun. And then I will share my boyfriend's TBR maybe during the vlog because I think that'd be fun as well to show you guys obviously what, the bo what books he'll be reading. Um, I don't think he will be featured too much in the vlog just because he likes keeping himself private, which I also appreciate just keeping him uh, in my private life, which is just nice for us to, to have that privacy. So yes, but also I'm just excited to, to read with him and to show you guys the books that he'll be reading and I'll share his thoughts through me. Um, so yes, I think that'll be really fun. Anyway, um, I'm excited to see what books you guys think I should prioritize out of these, which ones you think I should read. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you are also excited about the 24-hour readathon because I am and I know my boyfriend is as well. So yes, I will see you guys soon, probably in that vlog, and I hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful day. I am sending you my very best wishes and as always, happy reading.